Welcome back to the farmhouse handrail part two. Let's do this. All right, another day. I finished all the tops for the posts. Uh, they're all good to go. So one just sit up on top of this. I left a little slack. I showed you earlier that I put a little piece of 14 gauge just for powder coat. You have to think about that stuff when you're doing finishes. So to kind of go complement this, I'm putting this around the bottom here. Uh, just gonna, you know, not put any weld on here. I'm gonna weld it from the bottom. So I have to chamfer this edge so that it can be welded in place after this is on. Uh, oh, so one more thing I wanna do on one of these is uh, the handrail is gonna die into one of these posts on the corner. So I need to put a piece of material behind here to, um, to bolt to. So what I'll do is I'll drill a couple holes. I'll clean up the backside where the burrs are in the, from the drill bit. I'll slide a piece of material in there that's long enough, big enough, and close to the right spot that I need. Uh, I plug weld the front and I grind it smooth. That way you have that extra material on the back side of this tube. This is 120 wall. And since they're like smashed right against each other, it's basically like bolting the same piece together. But uh, that's something you have to think about when you're doing this stuff. And then I'm going to uh, cross mark this, put a hole in the middle, middle and uh, weld it flush with the bottom. Uh, that's what we're gonna bolt the, that's what we're gonna bolt the handrail down to through. So we're gonna come through the top and go down into with a long extension. Uh, these only get one hole because uh, it's part of a three-legged piece and it should, I mean, it will just sit there by itself and be fine. We don't want it moving, so we're just gonna screw it down. The other two longer ones though, they're gonna need two holes because uh, they're only really tied longitudinal or with the handrail, right? And there's a chance that it would get loose over the years with you know grandkids and stuff hanging out. So let's do that. We're doing that now. earlier I don't want to weld. I don't want to see welds up here. I have to weld this seam and what I do is going to touch into this corner which in turn will tack this in place and hold it there until I flip it over and weld the thing that I just uh, notched out or beat out of this. So that'll help. And then I'll come back and clean it up so you can't see any weld there.
Okay, there it is. A little bit of a, I mean, I could have come back. So these, uh, this flat bar isn't really flat. It's kind of got a little curve to it. So when you get in the corners, you end up with that. But when you powder coat it, and no one's gonna know. But that's about it. I have to do, like I said earlier, drill a hole in this, weld it on the bottom. Again, I can't forget, and I won't, to put that piece in there for drilling and tapping later. So uh, one down, four to go. Uh, get done with that, and then we'll show you what's next. All right, so now I'm doing that uh, piece of threaded for what I can thread a hole in here later on on the job site. So what I do is I get a piece of material, a uh, quarter inch, I'm running a quarter inch today, because it's only uh, maybe a, a probably go a quarter inch bolt, so it doesn't need to be that big. This is good for quarter, five sixteenths, even three eighths. Uh, so I drill the hole, I take my file, and I clean the inside where the nollies are, get those off, I take the steel, put it in the hole, I line up the marks, because it's the center, I hold it up tight like that, and I, I plug weld it. When you grind it smooth, and you wouldn't even know it was there. It's just, I'd use it for any kind of thing I need to bolt in, hinges or pretty much anything that requires a bolt. Um, they used to call them nut zerts, now they call them rib nuts. You could use those too. I'm not sure how strong they are, especially on a thinner wall tubing. You can do that on a, like 065 tubing, and uh, it's strong and it won't pull the threads and it won't distort the tube. So, it, you know, you can put a big piece on the backside and add strength to it, but you're not getting all carried away with a big heavy tube to wrestle with. So uh, that's how I do it. Um, you just gotta remember, especially when you're doing gates and stuff, you gotta remember to put all that stuff in before you actually make the frame for the gate. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, Move forward, on to the next step. All right, new day. Um, posts are all done. The feet are all welded on, smoothed up, ready to go. I got these plates uh, welded in the bottom. Uh, the single ones are just for the three that are standing. You'll see I'm gonna actually build the handrail. These are for the two uh, ones on the stairs, the lower ones on the stairs. I did two holes uh, to keep the lateral strength. Uh, front to back will be con contained by the handrail itself. I did a, on an angle like that because the, um, the tread is a one by piece of wood. If I did them in line, even though I'm gonna pre-drill, I was afraid I'd split that. So I'm trying to eliminate that, keeping two bolts in one. So it'll still have the stability side to side, but it'll have, be less prone to like split that wood, hopefully. Uh, another thing I did was I recessed this so that when it's tightened down, it won't bottom out. So it'll always have uh, you know, some snug. I just took some uh, washers and put them on some magnets that I had and just space it like that. I was able to space it in evenly, held it in place. So all of them are like an eighth inch or 16th off the, the floor or where this would be. So I can tighten these down and it won't bottom out and uh, limit my ability to, you know, snug it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this mess up. I have the layout of the top uh, landing area where those three are gonna go. I'm gonna mark it out on the table. I'm gonna put the posts where they go. I'm gonna level them up, get them the distance that I need, and then I'm gonna actually build a handrail here. Uh, so when I go out there, I can just set it in place, bolt it down, and then attach uh, where, the, where the stair's gonna mount. So we're gonna do that next. All right, so I got everything cleaned up. Got it sitting on the table, got it marked out. My dimensions were 52 and a half by 43. I laid it out on the table here. Uh, it's 7 eighths of an inch from the edge, just the way it worked out dimension-wise. These ended up uh, what, four and three quarter. So I have the one that I need right here with the extra steel on the backside for the handrail. I just got a square and level other thing up. And then I'm gonna just tie it all together. Once I get everything leveled up, I'll tack it down so it won't move around. I'm going to tie it all together and uh, just build the handrail here. Then when I go out, I'll just be getting up the stairs. There's plenty of room and just set it in place, bolt it down. And then I can build the uh, rest of the handrail on site. So that's what we're going to do now. So right now, the ID at the bottom is 43. 
here I am 43 and 3 sixteenths. Cross measure, this is right at 57. This is 56 and 7 eighths. So this side's got to go this way. No, that's 57. Oh yeah, so this side's got to go this way a little bit. I'm going to prop this up with a little screwdriver. Dead nuts, 43, so that's good. This is 15 sixteenths, 56 and 15 sixteenths. This is, damn, dead nuts, baby. That's perfect. So I don't know if I want to attack anymore, but
down here, it's touching the line. When I put it down here, it's touching the line. So I'm okay with it this way. I just gotta get it this way. So it's the same thing here, I think. Yeah. So this table is kind of going downhill a little bit. But as long as everything's squared up, and I don't know if the floor's square out there, but I mean, it's sitting on here, it's not gonna be an issue. I'm, I'm, over, I'm overdoing it a little bit here. But that's just the way I am. And remember this time, it's just a handrail, it's not a rocket. Although, you know, you do good work. You do good work. Just under three eighths. This is fifty and eight. <laughs> fifty and three sixteenths. I'll we'll pull this out. Push this lower a little bit. We're at fifty and three sixteenths. Yeah. 
to put the top and bottom rails in, and uh, I got to clean them up and cut them, and put the top and bottom rails in. But before I put them in, I measure out the math, and I mark them at the same time. So when I put the pickets in, it's just easier. When I get there, I'll show you how I do that. It's not hard, but. I'm not real good at math, so I dick around and I get close and I figure out, you know, the center, the tubing is three quarter, three quarter, tubing's five eighths. It has to be under four inch opening. So if you get your number anywhere, you know, close to four, you can be like right around four, one way or the other, and you'll be okay. We'll, I'll show you that later. So I'm gonna do that. All right, that's it for part two. Um, Trying to keep them short and sweet. Uh, most people have a short attention span, so I don't want to drag them out. So stay tuned, check in for the next one. Uh, should finish it, probably. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, see you then.